what about um peeling back from the subdividing and the in the uh the resort stuff just in general your take on this macro environment that we're in and it could be in terms of real estate it can be in terms of investing in general but you sounds like you've lived through a lot and you've gone through these cycles just what are you feeling about today's macro what's scary what's interesting well, as far as the macro environment, we've got, there's a book called Mastering the Market Cycle, uh, Getting the Odds in Your Favor by Howard Marks. And I think it came out in 2017 or 18. I've read that book over and over because it just reminds us that when you're about to go into a bubble, uh, people get kind of crazy and they overpay and they over leverage and they speculate a lot. And so I had read that book a number of times. And of course, I had my own painful experiences of foolish speculation and losses and some gains like the one I told you um, along the way. And so I was eating up that book and I got super conservative myself as a result of that. And as a result of just getting into my 50s rather than, you know, my younger ages, I, I just didn't have the experience that I had, you know, and the pain I had. Uh, like in, you know, 2008, like I said. So anyway, um, I think that uh, I saw, I, can't, I couldn't say I saw this coming because who would have ever seen the interest rate rise that we saw? But I, I really felt that I wrote a book in 2016 called The Perfect Investment. <laughs> and that's about yeah. multifamily investing. And then by 2018, I was going on podcasts left and right and blogging all over the place, like on Bigger Pockets, saying, time out multifamily apartments are not the perfect investment. It's a big mistake to overpay, over leverage and use floating rate debt. You're going to get in trouble if you keep this up. Well, I proved to be wrong over and over and over again, because 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21 apartments kept going up. My friends kept making millions of dollars while we sat on the sidelines. And of course, now we see what happened. 2022 came along 2023 and Every day I'm hearing horror stories of people either losing money or distribution stopping or capital calls. What I think's going on right now is a lot of folks who didn't have, didn't live through 2008 and didn't live through the pain and got caught up in the euphoria of doubling their money every year and a half. Well, I think they got over their skis and I think it's probably going to get a lot worse before it gets better. I think that the floating rate debt, I mean, it, it bit people in ways that nobody ever dreamed would happen. Uh, I think we're seeing some people who are being super conscientious and who are doing going out of their way to make sure investors are protected, but others are just kind of giving up and walking away right now. So um, it's a really, I don't, I don't know that there's, Max, I don't know that there's going to be a whole bunch of deals, like half price sales like there were in 2009 through 12. I don't think that's going to happen because the demand for multifamily and single family is so off the charts high that I don't think we're going to see those half price deals. But I think, I mean, I've already seen deals come out where, you know, let's say they paid a hundred, um, no, let's not use that number, 10 million for an apartment complex a year ago, and their debt was 7.5 million. And now a year and a half later, they're just begging to get rid of it at 7.5 million and the equity's already wiped out. And even those deals are not selling quickly. So I think the problem with those is they were never worth 10 million. So 7.5 was already, a, you know, a right number. Well, now with interest right. rates higher and cap rates expanded, you know, those deals are not worth 7.5 anymore. And they certainly weren't worth 10. So that's, I think that's where we're at. 